question number 116 if mother and father are with blood group a b and o respectively then what is the probability of their first child to be a girl with the blood group a so we have to find out first the probability of being a girl and then probability of that girl to have a blood group a if parents have a b and o blood groups respectively then the genotype will be i a i b and the i o i o now in the offsprings the So in the offsprings, these are the genotypes, means phenotypically we can get A or B blood group. So to have a child with the A blood group, the chances are 50%. It means the probability is 1 by 2. And to be a girl, what are the chances? See here, if a couple female has the genotype XX and the male has XY, so it can be XX, XY, XX or the XY. So to be a girl, again the probability is half. The chances are 50%. In every pregnancy, there are 50% chances to be a girl or to be a boy. So the probability of a child to be a girl with the blood group A will be half into half. That is 1 by 4. So the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 117. The human females with only one X chromosome in their cells have normal secondary sexual characters? No. If they have only one X chromosome, human females normally have two X chromosomes. And if they have only one X chromosome, they have abnormal secondary sexual characters. They are fertile. No, they cannot be fertile. They lack ovaries. No, ovaries will be present, but they will be sterile. The human females will be sterile. So the correct option for the given question is option number three. Let's move another question. Question number 118. Consider the following replication fork formed by unwinding of DNA molecule. Choose the option that indicates the direction in which replication is continuous. See, during the DNA replication, the replication is continuous on one strand, whereas it is discontinuous on the other strand. Why? Because DNA polymerase can polymerize the DNA only in the one direction and that is 5 prime to 3 prime. So here, this primer can be added at this position and here it will be added from here. So... In this direction, because polymerization needs 3 prime free OH group, polymerization will be continuous. But here, polymerization will be discontinuous. And here, it will be continuous. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 2. Let's move to the next question. Question number 119. The condition that results polyploidy is so this condition where polyploidy level more than before going into the details of this question you should know what is polyploidy so what is ploidy shows us the set of chromosomes the how many sets of chromosomes are present in a cell shows the ploidy level of that cell for example if there is only one set of chromosomes it is haploid if there are two sets of chromosomes it is diploid and many more so if more than two sets of chromosomes are present it is polyploidy. So how does this polyploidy can be achieved? Segregation of chromosomes without DNA replication? No, because if there is more chromosome number, there should be more DNA replication also. So this option is ruled out. Now what about the second one? Unequal distribution of chromosomes during the cell division? No. Failure in the cell division after DNA replication, yes, if there is DNA replication, but not the cytokinesis, definitely it will lead to the polyploidy condition. Presence of more than one origins of 
application in DNA? No. So the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move to the next question. Question number 120. For two characters, law of independent assortment will be correct if the corresponding genes are. See, this law was given by Mendel and he said, so what is law of independent assortment? Independent assortment says, if there are two genes, for example, A and B, and they are present on the same chromosomes, like A and B, they are present on the same chromosomes. Now, what will happen? And if there are the genes which are present on the non-homologous chromosomes, then what will happen? So, law of independent assortment says that assortment of two genes is independent from each other. For example, this gene A, which is controlling a particular character, can independently assort from the gene B, which is controlling a different character. So, two characters are controlled by two different genes and gene A can independently assort from gene B. If they are present on the non-homologous chromosomes, as I have shown over here, definitely they can assort independently from each other. This is correct. Now, this option is correct. What about the second option which says they are segregated only during the crossing over? If they are present on the same chromosomes, for example, this is the case 1, where A and B are present on the same chromosomes, then they can also segregate independently or assort independently if crossing over occurs. So, there is a condition if crossing over occurs, definitely they can assort from each other. So, this is the condition. So, crossing over is the condition for independent assortment, but if the genes are present on the non-homologous chromosome, definitely they will assort from each other. Present on the same chromosomes and are completely linked? No, if they are completely linked to each other, they cannot assort. Fourth one, do not segregate during gamete formation. This is also not correct. So, second option says a segregated only during crossing over? No, just because of the only, this option is incorrect. So, the correct option for the given question is option number one. Let's move to the next question. 